Hi everyone, Eid Mubarak. Welcome back with an Eid vlog. Hope you all had a great time and I hope you all are safe. This Eid wasn't like how it used to be. No Eid dress for the first time, but that's okay. No celebrations with friends and family. It was just us, but that's how it should be keeping in mind of social distancing. Some moments on the last day of Ramadan and some preparation for Eid include in this video. Hope you like it. Keep watching. Now on the last day of Ramadan I began a deep clean as a preparation for Eid. So the menu for that day was really simple. Arman loved cornflakes anyway. So that's even more easy for me as a breakfast for him. If you are a resident of Saudi Arabia, you must have heard of STCP on which I had once put a video. What brings to the highlight is the international wallet to wallet service that they have recently started and it's the first time in Saudi Arabia for an application to provide this service. You won't find this in any exchange house. They have started instant money transfer to India up to rupees 1 lakh to Airtel money and Paytm. All you need is the beneficiary name and their registered mobile number on Airtel money or Paytm. Now in this lockdown period it's really hard to go to the bank or ATM for liquid money transactions. Staying safe is crucial. But now you just have to go to the nearest merchant for any cash collections and other bill payments which Airtel money and Paytm has provided. This is not just an ad. It's for an awareness for being safe and follow social distancing. By using STC Pay international transfer, you are safe, your money is safe and transfer is done instantly. We have been using STC Pay for quick transfers and this is my honest review for my viewers. Trust me, I guarantee. The steps to transfer money is really simple on the app. Select international transfer from the home screen, click add new receiver, fill out the receiver details. Click send money on the approved receiver from the saved receiver tab. Enter amount and click continue. Lastly, click confirm. And that's it. So start using STCP app and the link to that is provided in my description box. Just like anyone, I love greenery in and out. As I told once, whichever plants I bring indoor, only money plant grows well for me and it needs the least maintenance. I just water them when I feel the soil is dry and that's what I only do and it grows very well. Some of you had asked me about the humidifier. Here in Riyadh the climate is too dry and just to add moist in the air, I own the humidifier. I think it's because of the dry climate here. Some gets nose bleeding and even Arman has that. It looks really scary seeing the nose bleed, but it isn't that concerning. To add fragrance in the room I put few drops of essential oil. Not just the room, the whole house would have that scent and it's relaxing. There are few essential oils that helps in reducing stress and anxiety. And that includes lavender oil, rose essential oil, jasmine oil, chamomile oil and such. I like to clean by pouring water on the floor and wiping rather than taking a bucket of water using mop which I find really tedious. And to give a new look, I try to change positions. I remember my mom used to call me or my brother to help her change the bed position or any heavy object. And we used to get irritated because mom used to call us when we were either watching TV or playing games. But now I know where I got this habit from or should I call it a disorder? The only thing that hasn't changed in my life is my family, friends and YouTube family. Thank you so much for the love and support that you all have been pouring throughout. And I really mean it. I have been getting so much support throughout.
when cleaning was going on, my husband took in charge of the kitchen. He decided to cook spaghetti and Rehan joined him for help. He does make tasty food. The reason why I'm not able to show his cooking is when he is cooking, it's because I would either be editing or I'm busy cleaning. So I can't go over with the camera. But hopefully one day I shall vlog his dish. The last day iftar was really simple, just a glass of ruabsa. As a fruit we had orange and then the main dish cooked by my husband. Moved on with the rest of the cleaning. After cleaning, a cup of tea and biscuits and some chit chat is very calming. Topics flow while we take each sip of tea. Late night I began eat food preparation. Menu was chicken biryani and a kheer. I'm not going deep into the recipes here. For the kheer, I wanted someone to keep stirring so my husband joined for that while I did the chicken marination. I found storing mint and coriander leaves this way from another YouTube channel which was uploaded 6 years ago. And I wonder why I didn't find it any time. I can't take the credit myself so I shall link the video in my description box. This helps in staying the leaves really fresh for a week. The ingredients for the chicken marination is given in my description box so if you need you can check out there. It was already late and we were awake whole night. We thought to take an hour sleep at least so that we don't get too tired due to lack of sleep. It was a bright morning. Normally on Eid day, we eat biryani as a breakfast or brunch I would say. This time we had a Zoom meeting in the morning with the whole family from my husband's side. It was lovely to see everyone and we spoke for an hour. And only then I moved to the kitchen for biryani preparation. 
So till that time we had the key to curb the hunger. I prepared chicken dum biryani this time in oven and was not sure how it would be but still give a try. I wasn't much happy with the result yet to know the oven settings properly for this. Once I find the best way I shall upload. I had been thinking of doing a craft with the skewers which was lying around. I wanted to do it before Eid. Finally got time on Eid. And just before having food, we spoke to my parents, brothers and family. We all miss being together. You must have seen a glimpse of this if you're following me on Instagram. Time for food. We all were really tired due to less sleep, so we took a deep nap to be fresh for the rest of the day. I wanted tea but along with that my husband wanted kheer as well Kids wanted chocolate milk too so two drinks for them and one tea for me Finished the craft and it was a wall decor. Gave a golden spray. So that was our Eid day, and it went really simple yet memorable. Hope you all had a great time. Stay safe and stay positive. Let's pray for a better tomorrow. See you all with another video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.